when I started farming in 1976 with my husband, the only women in agriculture that I would meet were actually our neighbors who ran the tractors, ran the grain to town, you know, fed the hogs, did all these things. But the organizations that they had to, that they belonged to were women's auxiliary groups that like served coffee to guys and at their meetings. And they were called the dairy maids and the porkettes and the, um, what else was there? The cowbells. And those were like such demeaning names. I couldn't believe that they really, really had those names. So the, the impetus for starting Women Food and Agriculture Network was out of my kind of 20 years of, of, of working with women in agriculture and knowing that they play a major part but that they don't really have any voice. They didn't really have any voice. We're still working on that. I was asked to help prepare for the World Women's Conference in Beijing, China, the United Nations Conference in 1995. And so we started do, putting together a women, food, and agriculture working group so we could find case studies and we could do things with you know what women are doing and looking at their status we couldn't find any um i was working with a friend we couldn't find any information on women farmers in the united states because we weren't on the census there you know there wasn't any documentation i met up with betty wells from iowa state university and out of that um, we began to look at women's land ownership and, look, and seeing that women owned 51% of the land. So we started really kind of focusing in on that. I feel very proud of the work that Women, Food, and Agriculture Network is doing. I, I think they're headed in the right direction. They're one step ahead of what everybody else is.